So Watts is found in an alley. There's a dead body on the ground with a bullet wound and uh, Watts has the gun and says that he's killed him. That presents all sorts of questions because nothing is adding up, nothing's making sense. How did events play out? I came upon him unexpectedly in the alley. He was drunk and belligerent. I tried to avoid him, but he came straight at me. The heroes are hard at it and spinning their wheels and clues are, are coming very slowly. In my experience, anyone is capable of lying if the incentive is strong enough. Have you ever lied to me? Never. Is that a lie? It always has an added element of urgency um, and gravity when someone within the realm is being investigated, as it has with many people before. Yes, I was going to the Hogshead. Why? A uh, man claimed he had information for me. Regarding? He didn't say, nor did he give me his name. That's what you're wondering? Over the course of the episode, we slowly start unraveling a series of lies and cover-ups that, that bring us to a truth about Watts that we didn't realize was there. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of history uh, uh, that we discover uh, about Watts. Watts has had a really sad and tragic past, and this is just another sort of notch in that belt. Um, so many people have died in his life and have left him, and this is another horrible thing that has happened to him. This family around him at, at Station House 4 is uh, what's keeping him going, and he has this really dark past that we get to see, so there's hope.